what's out there with people saying DO just isn't as competitive as MD. Because we get that all the time from students. And how you handled that going into med school. Well, let me just start by saying, you know, the stigma is real, unfortunately. And we kind of just need to understand it, respect it, but also find a way to move past it. Having just finished my third year, I feel the stigma sometimes. And, you know, there's a lot of times where whether I'm a DO or MD, it doesn't come up. I'm in the OR during my surgery rotation and the attending is just trying to get to know me. We're just bantering over the table. And he goes, oh, like, where'd you go to undergrad? I said, oh, I went to this school called the University of Pennsylvania. (laughs) He goes, "U Penn? You went to U Penn?" And he goes, then why the, and then expletive deletive, but he was like, why are you here? And why are you at NYIT at such a second tier school? You have, you're in this, oh, what am I supposed to say to him? Oh, like I wasn't competitive. Well, I have, I have this lofty background. I did very well at Brown and Dina can speak to that, but you know, we don't all fit into a certain box. And maybe we don't check the boxes that certain people want at a certain point in time, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be as successful. It certainly means there are more barriers that I'm having to overcome. Mm -hmm. And whether that's in applications to residency, whether that's in getting sub eyes or even just getting in research. Yeah, I'm certainly (laughs) noticing there's some barriers when I have DO next to my name. 